Hey plant gang, I love talking about viburnums, and this is one that is very common in the landscape. This is viburnum placatum variety tomentosum. Now you'll also see this listed as viburnum placatum forma tomentosum, uh, and that is probably a little bit more accurate, uh, but you'll see it listed either way. But commonly known as the double file viburnum. I feel in these leaves right now they're quite pubescent. Uh, they've got kind of thick serrations on the edge. They're elongated. Uh, but what I love about this plant is it's spring bloom and then in the fall uh, when those blooms have completely fallen off uh, it comes alive as uh, other parts of this plant uh, start to show out. Uh, so you're looking at the flower here and there are other parts that show out like I said other than the flowers but this flat topped flower cluster of variety tomentosum or forma tomentosum types generally feature a ring of large sterile florets that surround the central mass of small fertile florets there in the center uh, but then uh, when those fade and they go away uh, you're left with uh, the structure that holds up those fertile and infertile flowers and it turns bright red and late in the season uh, it really can be beautiful on this plant. So this is typically a mid spring blooming shrub uh, but it will produce sporadically flowers throughout the rest of the season and so here we're looking at it in August and it still does have a few flowers on it. So this is native to China and Japan, hardy from zones five through uh, eight, maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit above that. Uh, it's a deciduous medium-sized shrub with mul typically multi-stemmed, uh, eight to 10 foot high with a little bit of wider width. A uh, horizontal branching of this uh, viburnum gives it a very layered appearance, a bro broad round, rounded texture um, of kind of a medium uh, overall textured appearance. Again, deciduous, opposite leaf arrangement. Uh, these ovate, oval leaf shape, two inches by to four inches in length, uh, up to about two inches wide. A uh, kind of a pubescent texture to it. Uh, in uh, the fall, reddish to purple fall color uh, can be quite beautiful. Uh, the flowers, uh, you saw white fading to pink, and then left with uh, the the structure that holds up the flower. Uh, making this thing look uh, really beautiful. Bark grayish brown, very smooth, uh, easily transplanted, using the shrub border, uh, different areas. Uh, the vegetative buds uh, are naked and uh, right up against the stem, and so you want to take a look at those. Uh, the new foliage is very pubescent as well. Here's a landscape tip. The flower heads of variety or forma tomatosum types tend to be lace caps in the organization with an outer ring of large sterile florets and a central mass of small fertile flowers.